Windsor, Ontario. We'll be visiting four arts spaces and art galleries in the city. Unfortunately, many of them are closed right now. However, they do have some installations or works that can be seen from their windows from the outside. So I hope that you will take the time to get out, explore, walk around and explore your city. The Art Gallery of Windsor is a non-for-profit public art gallery focused on preserving and presenting the visual arts of Canada. The Art Gallery of Windsor harnesses the power of art to open minds and hearts to new ideas, perspectives, and ways of thinking that inspire people to grow emotionally and intellectually. Artist Luke Matterford is interested in queer histories and how queer communities occupy space within regions that don't have a neighborhood or other dedicated spaces. And Matterford's installation, Reaching Down But Looking Up, currently installed in the windows of the AGW facing the Detroit River, is created in response to Windsor's last gay bar closing in February 2019 leaving Windsorites without a dedicated queer social space for the first time in 40 years. From outside, the work reads, Strangers and our lovers looking for our places. And from the inside, moving through your focus here and wanting more. Luke Matterford is an interdisciplinary Canadian artist, writer, curator, and community organizer. Luke currently lives in Windsor, where he founded Love Contemporary, a grassroots studio and exhibition space, and he co-edits Off Center, an online publication. Just a short walk away down Whiff Alley and past the new Incubator Art Lab, nestled in the Capitol Theater, you'll find Artsite Inc. Artsite Inc. is a nonprofit artist run center dedicated to the contemporary arts in our region. And since 1982, Artsite strives to expand the traditional definition of our understanding of contemporary art by exploring the multiplicity of Canadian artistic practice. Artsite's spring exhibition features artist Kama La Macarelle in their exhibition Breaking the Promise of Tropical Emptiness, Transsubjectivity in the Martian Postcard. In this body of work, Kama La Macarelle revisits stereotypical landscapes of Mauritius, their home island and reclaims these sites, which are often portrayed in postcards and tourist brochures. And while these spaces are supposed to represent the island, they are empty of any black and brown bodies. La Macarelle redefines the aesthetic of the Mauritian postcard by positioning their black and brown queer transgender body in the foreground of cliché tropical landscapes. Through these photographs, the viewers encouraged to consider the ways in which island spaces are commodified and how local subjects are uprooted by these images of the utopic or tropical destinations. Another short walk up the street to the corner of Polisher and Park, you'll find 110 Park, a working space, located at 110 Park Street in downtown Windsor. The space began as a collaborative project that was founded by four artists, including Alana Bartol, Colette Broders, Susan Gold, and Arturo Herrera. It's a space to work, experiment, and engage as an artist. 110 Park's current partners include Linda Renault-Fisher, Stephen Gibb, and Susan Gold. 
And this year, 110 Park celebrates May Day. Walk by their exhibition windows and see the special display of mail art for the Cuban International Henry Reeve Medical Brigade. Over 100 images and envelopes from 28 countries have been submitted to 110 Park's window display in support of the Medical Brigade's nomination for the 2021 Nobel Peace Prize. The brigade has been on the front lines responding to some of the globe's worst health crises and since 2005 the brigade have participated in dozens of missions in over 46 countries and territories around the world recently cuba has responded to requests from dozens of countries requesting cuban medical support in the fight against covid 19. Nearly 4,000 Cuban medical professionals have provided health care in 37 countries, treating over 300,000 patients worldwide. 110 Park's windows are always open, and artists are always creating new displays. After a 30-minute walk or a 6-minute drive down Riverside Drive East, you'll end up in Walkerville, where you'll find the Arts Council, Windsor and Region. Here's Caitlin Carnes, the Administrative and Outreach Coordinator at the ECWR, to tell us more about their space. Hi everyone and happy May Day. I'm Caitlin Carnes and I'm the Administrative and Outreach Coordinator for the Arts Council Windsor and Region located in beautiful Walkerville. I'm here to share some information with you about exciting opportunities for artists. The ECWR is here to support artists from all disciplines and we have been serving our community for over 40 years. We are constantly updating our website with job calls, events, auditions, and more, so stay tuned. Also, I'm here to tell you that we are offering a two-week window exhibition rental. Due to COVID-19, we've had to close the doors to our Art Speak Gallery for the time being, but in exchange, we are offering these window exhibitions. I will be alongside you, helping you market and promote your window exhibition so that our community can see your work, whether that's from their phones or on a walk. Stay up to date, connect with the ACWR by visiting our website at acwr.net. You can find us on all social media platforms. You can sign up for our weekly Arts Notes newsletter and tune in to our Art Speak podcast on the last Friday of every month on CJAM 99.1 FM on Spotify or on SoundCloud. I hope to see you all soon. So I hope that you enjoyed our walk in the city today. I encourage you to go outside, take a walk, and see what your city has to offer. And we hope to see you soon at the Art Gallery of Windsor.